and I feel capable and you know I could run round the block six times or something like that. <laughs> when I come out I was really upset but we just go to our normal lives. We don't really I might have one day I might think, oh God, I don't just wanna go to sleep or something but otherwise just we just pot round. Once we had the diagnosis, there were other things that followed in terms of care and taking the tablets to getting support. So that was almost a relief. She's always been the most amazing mum you could ask for. She's funny, she'd take you anywhere. Oh my God, amazing grandmother. Nanny, Nanny Noodle. <laughs> amazing Nanny Noodle. And little George. Oh, he's a case. How's she going out in the wet weather? Come on, Nanny Noodle. That's what he calls me, doesn't he? Come on, Nanny Noodle. <laughs> he absolutely, he absolutely adores her. Lived in Liverpool, and um, used to go down Cavern, and you'd come out and you'd be drenched. And my mother used to go mad. Well, uh, Jerry and the Pacemakers would be down there. Um, the Beatles. You wouldn't go out without your eyeliner and whatever. You'd always, you'd never go out with a, with a, a scrub face. Wendy's fantastic with her. I think the, the fact that brought us close was when Sue sadly had to give up driving her car and she was very upset and I can understand why that was. But because I drive it meant that I could take her to the places she needed to go. It's being a friend in exactly the way I would be a friend to anyone else. It's a completely equal relationship. We go and do the things together that we enjoy and we work on Sue's garden together. She takes me up to the allotment and we see what we've got up, up there and yeah. One of the places she needed to be taken in the car was to Alzheimer's Society. When I first started going, I just said hello to everybody and then quickly walked out. But very soon all the people there, the, the people with dementia and the people working for the society, became good friends. The ladies there are amazing and the support they give my mum. I, I couldn't speak highly enough of them. They just go into the, the place like it, when you get down there and then um, when you go in they, they all have the kettle ready. Do what you want really, you can knit, you can sing, you can flit round and they have a little jive in the middle. If you're within, with, with people who might have similar Sue is a one-off. She's a true life of bird. She's got an amazing sense of humour. She'll give anything a go. You know, she still wants to, to live her life and be out there and be happy. Mm -hmm.